Good morning, friends, and I hope you're well. Let's ask a couple simple questions this morning. Who did the temple in Jerusalem belong to? Who does the church belong to? Who do you belong to? We read in Luke chapter 2, verses 41 to 51, that the boy Jesus goes to the temple and is there discussing with the teachers of the law. His parents, you'll remember from yesterday, come to see him. And he says, why were you concerned? I had to be about my father's business. What is his father's business? And why is Jesus about it? You'll remember that Solomon built the temple and it was magnificent. In Psalm 46 and Psalm 48, it talks about the city of our God, the Mount of Holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth. And God rescued the temple, for instance, under Hezekiah. But there was a problem. Over the years between Solomon building it, maybe 940, 920 BC and 586, it had become corrupt. Jeremiah said it became a robber's den. The book of Lamentations would say that the priests and the prophets had corrupted it by shedding the blood of the righteous. So the Babylonians destroyed it. Then, under people like Ezra and Nehemiah, it was rebuilt in the 400s, expanded by Herod. And now Jesus goes into this second temple to preach and teach. What is he doing? Well, he's the son of the father, rightly claiming what is his. And throughout his ministry, he'll go back and forth to the temple. But alas, he, like Jeremiah, will say it's become a robber's den. In fact, in the war of 66 to 70, the zealots would take it over. They would act like it was theirs and not God's. And the Romans would destroy the temple. But later on in the New Testament, it says there's another temple. The temple is us, the church. First Corinthians 6, for example, the Apostle Paul says, you are the temple of the living God. You're not your own. You've been bought with a price. The church is now the people gathered together rightly in the name of Jesus, worshiping God in spirit and truth. The church is the temple of God. That's where the presence of God is. That tells us this that just like the first temple belonged to God and not to corrupt priests and prophets, so the church belongs to God. It is Jesus' will we must seek, and Jesus' will which must be done. They gave attention to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, the breaking of the bread, and prayer, it says in the book of Acts. But it also tells me this, that just like the temple belonged to God, and the church belongs to God, you and I belong to God. That God has redeemed us by the blood of Jesus. And when Christ comes into our life, he doesn't come to come and go and help us from time to time. He comes to be the Lord and Master. He's about his Father's business. He's reclaiming that which is truly his own. We are the servants of the living God. What a blessing to have the presence of Christ in our lives and at North Modesto Church of God. Let us seek to listen to him. Let us seek to love like he would have us love. Let us seek to do his will. And let's always remember that just like the temple belonged to God, so the church belongs to God. And so you and I belong to God. Well, dear friends, we're in the home stretch, making the final preparations to get ready to, to head your way uh, a week from Friday. So much looking forward to seeing you. So much looking forward to sharing the ministry with you and sharing fellowship with you. Pray for me. Pray for my strength and my wisdom. And we're getting a bunch of things together here to, to go and, and pray that God's will be done. And pray that we experience the joy and the peace and the righteousness God has ahead for us, the good things. Seek first the kingdom of God. Read your Bible every day. 
seek to do his will, pray for the church, seek to bring people to the Savior. And remember, just like the temple belonged to the Lord, the church belongs to the Lord. And you and I do too. Let's do his will. God bless you.